Hi, this is Sean from Punch Technology and today I'm going to show you how to configure a graphics card for your PC. I'm going to start by choosing an entry level PC and I'm going to show you uh, the options that are available and also just talk around this, some of the limitations that we're going to see by choosing an entry level uh, chassis. So here the chassis for this particular product is a relatively small chassis around half the size of a traditional micro AT chassis and that's that's going to limit what we can do in terms of graphics uh, not only the size but also the power supply that's available in the chassis because our configurator will only show options that are compatible with the chassis that you're trying to put them in then the number of options we see here is a limited selection now with the 250 watt power supply, although it's a good quality 250 watt, we still don't want to overload that power supply. So we're going to limit the choice of graphics cards to those that consume less than 75 watts. And that's what we configure as um, we we, we um, consider that as being a, a safe level when we consider the other elements of the PC. You've got to consider the processor power consumption. The, um, the hard drives, the memory, um, and so overall we're going to allow 75 watts um, as being the maximum power consumption for the graphics card. We also need to consider the size of the chassis. Some graphics cards at the high end can be really quite large and they're not suitable for these smaller chassis. So here we have a choice ranging from the entry level 1030 through to the 1050 Ti and then we have a range of Quadro cards. Now the Quadros are professional graphics cards. These are designed for uh, certain software applications that benefit from Quadro, uh, the Quadro drivers that are superior in certain elements of professional graphic work. Uh, certain video editing software can benefit from that and certain uh, and professional 3D design software and so on and so if the software application that you're using recommends a Quadro card then you should consider uh, you should consider this particular range for the vast majority of consumers these are the cards that we're really interested in and so all we need to do to add a card to this particular chassis is to select whichever option that we would like and that will add that card into the BOM for your PC uh, and as I previously said it, it's only going to show options which are compatible. Now if we need a, a graphics card that is of a higher performance what we need to do is choose a bigger chassis. So I'm going to choose one of the entry level gaming chassis because that's it's a little larger and it's going to allow us to choose a different power supply too. Now the power supply is important as we discussed earlier um, it's, uh, it's a limiting factor on the small chassis but actually even on the larger chassis it can also be limiting. I've got a 400 watt power supply in this chassis and that's going to allow me to put in a much larger range. You notice now we have 1060, 1066 gig, but that's about it. We don't have 1070, 1080, 1080 Ti available on this chassis. It's not because of a size limitation. The chassis is large enough to fit that. There's sufficient cooling fans, etc. So the only thing that's limiting it really is the fact it's a 400 watt power supply. So if I would like to include a 1070 graphics card in this PC, I'm going to have to upgrade the power supply first. And then because the configurator only shows us things that are compatible, then now because I have a 10, uh, a 500 watt power supply, I have unlocked the option of a 1070, 1070 Ti, 1080, 1080 Ti. So I'm going to configure with the 1070 and that's that's allowed me to do that there's no problem now some systems will allow you to add another graphics card 
Now in this situation, I can only add a quadro card, a professional card. The motherboard may well have the correct slots to fit a secondary graphics card, but unless it is an SLI motherboard, it won't let you fit two consumer grade cards. And so to unlock that, we're going to have to start with a bigger chassis again. So now I'm going to choose one of our eSports systems. How about how about we customize one of these? So the motherboards we've chosen here are the X variants and they are SLI compatible motherboards and that will enable two graphics cards to be fitted. These are two 1080s, pretty high-end consumer card. Uh, again, in order to get all of the options unlocked, we need to make sure we've got a decent power supply. So there we've got a 750 watt. Uh, if I was to play around with the configuration, it may allow me to put in a, a smaller wattage power supply, but that would then prevent me putting two very high-end graphics cards in there. So if you're not seeing all of the options, check the power supply and also if you want to have multiple graphics cards, make sure you start with a higher-end base unit. Thanks very much for watching.